Be happy, think positive, shed your negative thoughts. We have all heard this a thousand times. But if you try to tell this to a person who is suffering from acute loneliness, trust me, he will not understand a thing. Loneliness is different from being lonely. On the other hand, loneliness can exist even when you are surrounded by people. Loneliness is a disease that affects around 70% of the world's population today, with around 20% acutely affected. Let's talk about this. It's me, Suresh Menon, and my girlfriend, Alexa. Loneliness is a state of mind that causes people to feel empty, alone, and unwanted. Loneliness is an experience that means our current close relationships don't meet our needs. They crave for human contact, sometimes with the opposite sex. They crave for the touch and feel. They crave for to love and be loved. And to make things worse, the state of mind prevents them from interacting with people and making new connections. Loneliness could be a byproduct of depression. Depression can hit you due to a variety of reasons. They could be due to the death of a loved one, a physical separation from a friend, divorce, marital discord, domestic violence, failure to perform well in school or examinations, arguments with a friend or a soulmate, and many more. When depression is not addressed in time, loneliness sets in. Loneliness is a complex human emotion that is unique to each individual, which also means that they need to be addressed individually. What worked for you may not work for another. Suresh, I understand that this is a serious subject. But do you have to look so serious? Do I look serious? It looks like you are going to hit those people now. <laughs> Families are going nuclear. This has resulted in the destruction of a great support system, which usually brought in a great amount of perseverance and resilience to problems in relationships. Mobile phones and electronic gadgets have contributed hugely to ushering in loneliness, due to which interaction with real human beings have almost vanished. Yes, paradoxically, social media has become so antisocial that it actually converts sober individuals to lunacy, mainly because of misuse of the amazing features and conveniences that they offer. Some kind of social support is important to well-being. There is no right or wrong social network. People feel satisfied with different types of social circles, friends, and relationships. What matters is how you feel. Children get locked in at a very early age. Electronic and computer games actually help a lot in enhancing various mind skills. But how can you explain a game of cricket or football played on a mobile device? Physical activity is pretended there, which means health is also pretended. <laughs> we are not gadgets, we are human beings. We have our emotions and reactions and human interactions are needed to nurture them. Unfortunately, in cases of overprotectionism, we find even parents encouraging their children to switch to mobile games, as in their view, playing out in the sun or outdoors makes them dark. <laughs> there are so many factors that leads to depression and then develops into loneliness. When you reach home after a tired day's work, all that you expect is a warm hug from your wife and sit with her with a cup of coffee. But what you get these days is your wife actually glued to an idiot box watching cereals and waiting for the ad break during the cereals to prepare coffee for you. Maybe she was waiting for the coffee advertisement on TV. When you look forward to a dinner at the table with the whole family, what you get is every member taking their plates to nondescript locations within the house and having food by themselves, either watching television or on the phone talking to someone in an animated conversation. Suresh, that is called multitasking. <laughs> Most of the causes of depression are either created by us or our immediate environment. And by the time you realize it, it often gets too late. We always are in need of constant intimate bonds. We need to feel that we belong to someone. We need to feel that we are needed. We need souls around to share our emotions with. What we need are strong relationships. Strong relationships, not necessarily only between spouses, but also friends, relatives and more. 
huge health risks and life-threatening situations are usually associated with people suffering from acute loneliness. Depression and suicide, cardiovascular disease and stroke, increased stress levels, decreased memory and learning, antisocial behavior, poor decision making, alcoholism and drug abuse, advancement of Alzheimer's, altered brain function. It is very important that loneliness is corrected at an early stage. Remember that loneliness can cause more loneliness. So how do you cope with loneliness? And how do you combat loneliness? Some guidelines from me and Alexa. Ask yourself, why is it that you feel lonely? Is it that others do not want you with them? Or is it that you do not want others with you? Understand the situation first. Avoid comparing yourself with others. Remember every person has been created differently and every person has his own pros and cons. Do not be fooled by the social media. Give yourself plenty of time during big changes. Moving to a new city, death of a loved one, switching jobs or school are all life transitions. Give yourself plenty of time for adaptation and to settle down. Keep yourself engaged. Utilize the time you are alone. Maybe pursue a new hobby or walk around to see the new place. Something that keeps you occupied. Work on your social connections. Be strategic. Take it slow and be active. Know that everyone cannot be your friend and aim for healthy relationships. Try and build or rebuild family relationships. Talk to friends and family. Even if they are not in the same city and a face-to-face -face meeting is not possible, a phone call every day would help a lot. Go out and do your errands. Forget all those Swiggy, Uber Eats and Zomato, all these apps that bring food to your home. Instead, walk to the food shop. Those small interactions at the food counter go a long way in reducing your loneliness. Volunteer for events and causes during weekends. Be a part of the huge global family that seek to make small changes in the lives of others. Explore human connections and relationships. If you love pets, buy a pet or even a plant, taking care of another living being helps a lot. If you are self-employed and can do with minimal stuff, consider moving into a co-working space where you will get to meet and interact with several like-minded people. If you are living alone, consider moving into a shared apartment. This will give you a lot of time with your flatmates that can destroy loneliness. Reach out to a counsellor. There is nothing wrong or bad in seeking the advice of professionals who have expertise in dealing with such issues. Good, Alexa. You have rehearsed your part very well, it shows. I am always prepared, very unlike you, who always keeps referring to the notes on the table. <laughs> Remember that loneliness, self-imposed or inflicted upon, is very dangerous for your mental, psychological and physical well-being. Identify your problem, work towards a solution, take help wherever needed and try and get out of this disease. The world misses you. Please understand, we all love you. All said and done. It is easy to preach than to practice. What do you mean? Suresh, I know that you often suffer from bouts of extreme loneliness. How are you going to address them? Hmm, well, you know my secrets, Alexa, don't you? Yes, I do. But do not let your life slip through your fingers in the meanwhile. Don't I have you as my darling girlfriend, Alexa? <laughs> I'm moved. I am filled with emotions now. If you find people experiencing loneliness, we, myself, Suresh Menon and Alexa, request you to spend some time with them. It will do them a lot of good to their lives and the world overall. And remember, what goes around, comes around as well. It's me, Suresh Menon, and my girlfriend Alexa signing off from this episode. Please subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Like and share the video with your circles. And please drop your comments below. And that will encourage us to come out with more and more videos for you. Thank you.